the major symptoms that people complain about after a concussion, for example, are headaches. Occasionally, people have dizziness. They'll have the cognitive problems, uh, feeling like they're in a fog. Um, they may have sleep problems as well. And of course, all these three, all these uh, sort of, all these symptoms can actually um, exacerbate each other. So if you don't, if you're so, for example, if you're not sleeping well, you could be more prone to develop headaches. Your thinking may not be as clear. And so if you have headaches, then you might not be sleeping as well, and it worsens your ability to, to concentrate. So the question is sort of, are these things playing t together to exacerbate all your symptoms, or is one leading to the other? Research is, is underway looking at sort of what the role of sleep deprivation or sleep problems after concussion or dizziness may have on these other things like cognitive performance or headache, for example. That's part of the reason why uh, DOD has um, comprehensive care centers, uh, such as the National Intrepid Center of, up at uh, the Walter Reed campus, so that people who have multiple symptoms and a history of a concussion or a mild t to moderate TBI can come to one place and get evaluated by a comprehensive team of specialists.